Today we're going to be reviewing and unboxing the BRK First Alert SC9120B and the BRK First Alert 7010B. So, these are s some of the um, modern First Alert technology, but um, I recently heard that First Alert is changing their technology. So now there are alarms with um like the some that are the model number is the SMI one zero zero AC, which is just hardwired with battery backup that I know of. But then there's the SMI one oh five AC with the ten year battery backup, which is this one right here. The SMI one oh five AC. But I found a hack with this. See, here's the model number in the back. September 12th, 2023. And then, here's the battery. So, they put a 10-year battery back up. And it says, battery drawer is locked. But, I managed to unlock it and... It works like a normal smoke alarm. I've even tried different batteries in it and it works it works fine. So it doesn't even permanently disable it. If you do this Hold on, let me try that again. It just activates the alarm. And you can set it off like this. So yep, that's the um, SMI 105 AC for you. Now we're gonna unbox the um, BRK First Alert SC9120B. Now there's the previous model of this, the SC6120B, which I've been dying to get one, but those are ultra rare. So, and my neighbor used to have one. So, if I'm ever over there for a reason again, and if I ever see it there, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask them to see if I can keep it, and I'm really hoping to get it, or I'll look at estate sales in my neighborhood to see if I find any of those. But yeah, here's the um current model, the previous model being the SC6120B. So let's do, let's unbox the SC910B first. I'm going to set this 71 or 7010B out of the way for right now. And we're going to unbox this thing. So, it comes with two owner's manuals, one that's in English, one that's in Spanish, pause if you want to read, and then comes with this warning label that CO is, CO cannot be smelled or seen but can kill you. That's very important. Here's the dust cover. Here's the alarm. Here's something. I don't know what this is. And here's the alarm itself. And then here's the wire harness. So, and we're going to be testing this wire harness on AC power. I'm going to wire it up to a cord. Alrighty, now let's do a video review of the alarm. So there's your battery tab. We're going to pull that after we um, look at some other features. So here's the back of it. First alert, model no SC9120B. 
It was manufactured on November 28th, 2023. So now, and then you can write the, write the installed on and the replaced by. I did that with my KNCOPE IC in my hallway. My upstairs hallway. And it tells you which wire is which. Let's see, where did that harness go? I don't know where it went. That's okay. I can just use a different one if I if I find it. You know what? Sorry, I'm very tired today, so I it probably fell somewhere and I don't know where it went. But um anyhow, Let's pull the battery tab and get the alarm started. By the way, I'll um, use the harness that comes with the 40 electric one. So, let's pull the harness, or let's pull the battery tab, and let's give this a test. Sorry, it's shaking my phone a lot. doesn't want to come out for some reason. There we go. Sorry, it took me a little bit. Oh, here's the wire harness. So, um, alrighty. Now, let's give this a quick test. What I think is really cool is that here's your AC power slash slash alarm LED. This LED will blink red when there is smoke. And then this one will blink red when there's carbon monoxide. So I'm going to turn the lights off. And then I'm going to show you that in like with testing it. And you know what? I'll use Smoke Centurion with this too to see if the sensor still works. All right, let's test it again. All right, and as you can see, this one blinked red when um, there was um, when there was when it was testing in smoke mode, and then when it was testing in carbon monoxide mode, this light flashed. So now we're gonna use smoke Centurion, and it's gonna and when it detects the smoke, this LED is gonna light up red. Alrighty, and as you can see, it is blinking red like that, 
because it previously detected smoke. So yep, it's gonna say it's gonna stay solid red like that. It's gonna blink like that until you reset it. And how you reset it? You simply do this. And that resets it for you. So now we're gonna review the um carbon monoxide. Or not carbon monoxide. The um the um smoke alarm. And then I'm and I'll sh I'll show you guys a KNCOPEIC to show you guys the difference. We'll do smoke centurion with all, with those again too. So now, for the 7010B photoelectric. And we don't need the lamps, because I my light, I changed my light bulb and my ceiling fan to soft light. And that seems to be better for light, video lighting. Alrighty, so what comes in the box is your smoke alarm, your um, dust cover, and your owner's manual. And then your wire harness. So we're gonna do a little comparison. So, here's the Kitta version of this. The P12040. The difference is with being this one has a way lower pitch of a beep for the piezo horn. So I just thought I'd show you the difference. Alrighty, so now, let's look at the back of the alarm. Let's get a light on. Or you know what, we don't need a light to be able to read this. Focus camera, there we go. This is a first to work model no S, or model no 7010B. The manufacturing date is March 14th, 2023. And then here is some operating instructions. Pause if you want to read. And it shows it tells you which wire is which. Which I already know that, of course. But the black wire is the AC power wire. The white wire is the neutral wire. It says lime, but it's actually hot wire. Your black is your hot wire. Your white is your neutral. And then your orange is your interconnect wire. Which I would need to strip this off in order to be able to interconnect this. So now let's pull the battery tab and let's give this a test. These are always really hard to pull. There we go. Alrighty, so let's give this a test. Alright, let's give this a quick test. Oh wow, it tests exactly like the Kitta P12040. I didn't even know this. Let's pull down the alarm set to the exact same thing. I 
I didn't even notice. The LED does the same thing. Wow, it does the exact same thing. Interesting. Let's test these two at the same time. Yeah, it blinks the exact same. Yeah, they test the exact same way. That's really cool. The OED blink... It does exactly what kiddos do. That's pretty cool. I like it. Alrighty. That's good to know. Let me put these kiddos back up. I just had to show you guys that. Alrighty, cool, I like it. These are really neat alarms. Yep, and here's the SMI 105 AC, which is first of all, newest technology. The, this technology has been around for a while. Alrighty guys, so I hope, or, wait, I forgot a part. We're gonna need to wire these up to a cord and test them. Alrighty, let's see if I'm... What the heck? Why did my drawer fall on the ground? Okay, well, I'll have to fix this real fast. Not bad. Sorry, guys. I don't know what the heck my thing was thinking. All right, the two wire harnesses that um, these came with, we're going to wire up the cords, and we're going to test these at the same time. And see if they work on AC power. Oh, and it cut me while I was working on this. Whoops. Ow, oh, that's a band-aid waiting to happen. I'll fix that later. Hey, where did my wire harness been? Where did my wire harness... Oh, here it is. My wire harness been. So. Because I need wire caps.
Okay, here we go. So now, let me get that last wire harness. I don't know where it went. Or it may be right here. I don't, I don't know. Let me find it real quick. Where did that stupid thing go? Oh, here it is. Alrighty, let's wire both of these wire harnesses up to cords. And let's test them on AC power. We're not going to do interconnecting with these today. Because that'll make the video too long. It's already 21 minutes long. And I want to... I don't... I want... I don't want to make it any longer than it already is. Probably because I've been looking for stuff. Alrighty. This one's for the SC9120B, so let's plug this in. Whoops. Why, why, why am I so clumsy today? I can't even seem to get this. Oh, here we go. I think I got it. There. I got it. Here's the SC9120B. It's wired up. Now we need to get the, um, the photo electric one. Wired up. I'm not going to turn this on just yet because I need to wire up the photoelectric one. To the cord and make sure these connections are secure. Yep, they are. Oh, you got to be kidding me. This is going to take a while, I guess. Alrighty, there we go. Really? Okay. This is harder than I thought. This cord must just be stubborn with me today or something.
All righty. Let's give this a whirl. Alrighty, here we go. Huh? Nothing happened. Alrighty, let me see. Oh, I see why. All right, now let's try. There we go. Now they have AC power. We're going to test this one on AC power. Let's turn the phone around. Or no, it, I think that's a good angle. All right, let's test it. Alrighty, we're good to go. Alright, this was pretty fun, making a video of some first alerts. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.